Hello and welcome back to my blog. The eleventh day of the 30-day mental diet, develop confidence in yourself. Learn to do the right things in the right way. Naturally, you like to feel that you are doing the right thing at the right time, but too often in looking back you realize that you should have acted other than the way you did. To all intents and purposes, you were sure that you did your best at the time, but did you? Did you use all the resources at your command? You are not alone. When you arrive at any decision regarding a course of action, you carefully evaluate all the information available. Judge the possible outcome of various decisions, and then select what appears to be the most favorable. In spite of how much you might know, how much advice you might be able to secure, still the most desirous results may not be achieved. It is at this point that it is that it is necessary to remember that you are not alone. You are a part of life, an expression of infinite intelligence, and have access to the one mind in which all things are known. Your partnership with life. You may be the one who feels that you can stand on your own two feet, achieve all that you desire to achieve by yourself, that you are entirely self-sufficient. How wrong can you be? Let us see just how independent you can be. Who raised you as a baby? Who makes your clothes from fiber to fabric to finished product? How do you get your food from seed to the vegetable in the dish? But to get a little more personal, how did you heal that cut on your finger? By what process did you convert the steak you ate last night into energy for today's endeavors? If you ever really tried to be independent and isolate yourself from these activities, you would find yourself in a sorry predicament. You gratefully accept and take for granted your dependency on all of these functions of living, but when it comes to thinking, do you feel that it is your own personal achievement? Are you only half thinking? You have discovered that that within you which thinks is not something isolated from the rest of life, but instead is an activity and expression of life within you. As you come to realize that your mind is not your mind, but an aspect of infinite mind, you will find that all too often you have tried to go your own way without recognizing the greater potential that is always available to you. In every situation, in every decision, in every action, you should accept and permit the influx and guidance of that mind greater than your mind. Don't confine your thinking to what you think you know. When an unlimited reservoir of knowledge is available to you, why accept the lesser when the greater is always yours for the accepting? The course of action. There is no one living who of himself can possibly know, without any question of doubt, the perfect decision or course of action. One may make it appear that he does, but such a thing is impossible to man's worldly wisdom. It is only when all that is known is related to the mind which knows all things that it can be said right action results. When you need to make a decision, when you need to determine a course of action, there must be a gathering together of all the facts, all the evidence, all the information relative to the situation. This done, you must then consciously subject them to the action of infinite mind. And in so doing, you must have a firm faith and conviction that you will be guided and directed in a manner that will result in the greatest possible good for all concerned. History is filled with dramatic illustrations of divine guidance. And the thing for you to remember is that this is not a sometime thing nor just for special people. It is always available to those who avail themselves of it. A good habit. All of this does not mean that you stop thinking that you just sit and wait for bright ideas to come to you, or that you remain in a state of indecision. Rather, you need to use your ability to think to the utmost degree, and at the same time to know that the power that thinks as you rightly directs and guides you. The course of events which follows this type of thinking may often conform to what you first felt should occur, and then again you may find yourself proceeding in an entirely different direction, one you had not originally thought of, but which leads to more favorable results than you ever anticipated. Acknowledge your partnership. Your life can be so much more worthwhile if you acknowledge your partnership with life and continuously accept its activity in all that you do. The ability to make right decisions, to have right action occur in your experiences, rests entirely on your knowing that infinite intelligence is active in and through your thinking and actions, and that in everything connected with your life, you are rightly, divinely guided. Mental stimulants. Science. Human thought is an integral part of the universe, of the cosmos, le comte du noy. Philosophy. We inhabit an invisible spiritual environment from which our help comes, our soul being mysteriously one with a larger one whose instruments we are. Henry James. Religion. I can of mine own self do nothing. The Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. John 530, 1410. The Diet. 
I have confidence in my ability to achieve every good thing I undertake, for I know that from the divine center within, I am properly guided and directed to do the right thing at the right time in the right way. As I am a focal point of infinite intelligence, in which all things are known, there is made known to me that which I should do for the greatest good for myself and those about me. I cease hesitating, wondering, and doubting and release to the action of divine mind the making of those correct decisions which guide me into a greater experience of joyous living. In God there is only right action, and as I now turn to and accept His action in my life today, all is as it should be. God's life is my life. God's intelligence is my intelligence. And I now remove all ideas of separation from and gratefully acknowledge my unity with that power greater than I am. As I now let God become a partner in all that I do, there follows increased confidence in living. Capsule Supplement Today, through the action of infinite intelligence at the center of my being, I am rightly guided in all my decisions and actions so that the greatest good comes to me and to others. Today I will apply this idea to these aspects of my thoughts and actions. Fill in the blank. My particular problem, condition, or situation which it can be, which it can be used to correct is fill in the blank. Tomorrow, how to create new ideas. There is a limitless source of inspiration. Make it a great day, and bye for now.